Hi! The beautiful animated infographic slide we will learn to create today looks like this. Watch these animated elements. We have smoke coming out of the cup and we have leaves swaying in the air. And on a click, we show a concept of rocket launching from your laptop. You can write your text here for explanation. Now, you might think that I've spent a lot of time creating these various elements. No, I didn't. These are free editable elements that I took from pixabay.com and that is the point of this video. Many presenters wrongly assume that they need to create every element they have on their slide. In this video, I'll show you how you can pick up some of the free elements available online and create some beautiful infographics like this. And once you learn the basics in this video, in another video, I'll show you how to take the same idea to the next level by applying morph animation. For example, take a look at this concept. On a click, we show the first stage and then on a click by applying morph, we show the second stage and then we show the third stage and then we show the final stage like this. Once again, all these are elements taken for free from pixabay.com and we have put them together quite nicely on the slide with our imagination. So today we will learn how to create this slide. So let us jump right in. But before that, I am Ram Gopal from presentationprocess.com, the creator of comprehensive all-in-one PowerPoint bundle, a collection of more than 4,500 premium animated PowerPoint templates that help you create beautiful and engaging presentations in minutes. The two graphics that I'm going to use today are from pixabay.com. The first one is this, where I searched for a laptop and I got this graphic. Now, the one thing that you need to look for when selecting a graphic like this, if you want to alter is when you go to free download option, you can see that we have this option called vector graphic SVG. This is what we want because this allows us to ungroup the elements and regroup them according to our requirements. The second graphic that I'm going to use in this tutorial is this image of a rocket. Once again, when we go to free download, you can see the SVG option available for download. Now I'm using PowerPoint Office 365. That allows me to edit SVG directly inside PowerPoint. But if you don't have that option, then you can always use a free service called cloudconvert.com and you can search for SVG to EMF you can upload your SVG image, convert it into EMF and you can paste the EMF on your slide. You can right click and ungroup it twice. Remember, you need to ungroup it twice and that will allow you to play with the various elements just as you would work with SVG. So that is for those people who don't have option to work with SVG images directly. Now with those basic instructions out of the way, let us build the slide from scratch. Along the way, I'll also show you how you can make your graphic more dynamic with these kind of GIF animations and these kind of animations that you can create all by yourself right inside PowerPoint. Here I am on a new slide in a new presentation. The first thing I'm going to do is to download the SVG images. So go to free download, select vector graphic and then download and you will see that the image automatically downloads to your downloads folder. Let us do the same thing for this one as well. And both of these images are available in my downloads folder by going to show in folder. I can access that. Let us select both of these, right click, copy, then go to our presentation, right click and paste. Let us move this to one side and move this one to another side. First, let us ungroup this rocket. Let us right click on this, go to convert to shape option. You can also go to group and ungroup, but this is a much more convenient option. Select convert to shape. Now select just this element, which is the rocket, press Ctrl X and then select all these other elements which we don't really require. Can you see here? Nothing is there. Then press Ctrl V to bring it back. Reduce the size like so. So that will nicely fit here as one of the design elements. Excellent. So now we are going to keep that to one side. Let us right click on this and convert this to shape. I can extend this bit, right click and send this to back. Now we have an organic background, a laptop and some elements here. Let us place this rocket and make sure that this rocket comes from inside the laptop and goes outside. Now how do we do that? It's very simple. 
First, select these elements. Can you see here? These are in front of the laptop. Let us press Ctrl G to group it. Now, let us place this rocket. And when you place this rocket and then you right click on this other group, you bring it to front and you see that this would go from inside the laptop and it will come out automatically. It is that simple. Neat, isn't it? Now, we are going to have this as our end position. Now, this needs to fly in from below. So, we can go to animations and say fly in and this is how it goes. Now, to make it really look nice, we are going to increase the duration to around 2 seconds. When I hit enter, when I go to slideshow, you will see that this is how the rocket comes and enters the laptop and comes out. Now, I see that I don't really want the rocket coming from under this and then going through it. I want that to be hidden. It should look as if it is coming from inside the laptop. So how do I do that? It's very simple again. Let us select this. Press Ctrl C to copy it and Ctrl V to paste this background element. Now let us place this so it touches the bottom edge. Then go to home, go to auto shapes gallery, pick up the rectangle tool and draw a rectangle. The bottom edge of this rectangle needs to align with this surface here. All right, now I'm going to extend this all the way up. Now select this organic shape, hold the shift button down and then select this rectangle. Then go to shape format, go to merge shapes and say shape subtract. You place this one right on top of the previous one. Now we need to just make some adjustment in terms of the length here so it does it is not visible. And you can even, if you feel that this bit is not very visible, you can select this group and bring it to front again. Now it looks perfect. When I go to slideshow, everything looks beautiful. Now we need to add some embellishments to take it to the next level. First, I'm going to add some text here, which will reveal as soon as this rocket gets launched. So let me go to the previous slide. Let me copy this text element and then come back to this slide and I'm going to paste it over here and let us apply a simple wipe animation to this. Let us select both of these bullet points, go to wipe from left. Can you see these are two elements that are available here and let us have them come one after another. So let us say after previous and this also can happen after previous. So right after this rocket launches, we can have this text element appear. Now that is very simple. Now the next thing is here I see that there is a cactus image. I would like to have a couple of leaves here swaying in the air to add a bit of dynamism to this graphic. So let me select all of these elements here and delete. Can you see it is that easy for us to work with these various elements once you download an SVG image. Now let me draw those leaves. It's very easy. You just go to Auto Shapes Gallery, from Lines, pick up this tool called as the Curve Tool and then click at the bottom, click at the top and then click here, click here, click here and then go to the starting point and you have a shape here. Now this is our leaf. Now let us go to Shape Fill and give this dark green color. Go to Shape Outline and say No Outline. Now it needs to swing. Now if I were to rotate this, this is how the swinging is happening. This is not exactly the way that I would like it. I would want it to be a little more smooth. So let me press Ctrl D to create a duplicate. Rotate and say flip vertical and then place it right below the previous one. And then right click, go to format shape, go to fill and then increase the transparency all the way to 100%. Let us select this and the previous one and press Ctrl G. Now see how the sway happens. Can you see here? This is how the sway happens where the center point is here, which is exactly what we are going for. I've shown you why you need to create a ghost shape and then flip it vertical and group it in a number of other videos as well. You can always refer to any of them. One of them is clock needle animation. I will leave a link to that video in the description box below the video and also in the iCard. You can watch that next. Let us select this and place it over here. And then let us press Ctrl D and create another duplicate and place it over here. And we can flip it horizontally so it has a different shape. And then let us place this one over here. And then let us sway it a little bit like this. We can do the same thing for this one as well. 
Now I'm going to bring this part to the front. So let us right click and bring it to front. Now let us select each of these elements and then go to animations and apply a simple spin animation. And you can see that that is how the spin is. So let us go to the animation pane, select all of these animation events, go to effect options and then change the angle of rotation to somewhere around say 15 degrees, hit enter and we will say auto reverse as well. And we say timing and go to repeat and say until end of slide and you say okay now that is how this is going to sway now that looks nice now the deal here is we need to have the leaves swaying at different intervals so let us go to the second one and add a 0.5 seconds delay and for the next one add a one second delay and here we have everything available and this can be all moved right up at the start and we can say this first one happens with previous so that way when i go to slideshow we can see that the swaying is happening at different intervals quite nicely if you don't want it to be swaying this violently you can of course reduce the angle to around seven degrees or so it is completely up to you and then on a click we have this rocket coming in and the text coming out now the last element is the smoke now how do we get that done i've created a separate video that shows you how to do this water flow animation i took the smoke from this gif animation i will leave a link to that video in the description box below the video and also in the i card i'm just going to take this right click and copy and then come back over here and then paste it and then i can really squish it like so and then place it over here now that is the smoke now the color is not very clear so let us go to picture format go to color and we can always make it a little darker blue let me select this and now the smoke is very clearly visible now when i go to slideshow you can see that there is this dynamic infographic shown where there is a smoke coming in and the leaves swaying and then on a click i introduce the concept of a launch and then we have the text showing here PowerPoint custom animation is extremely powerful and very few people realize the true power of it. Let me show you three example templates taken from our comprehensive all-in-one PowerPoint bundle to show you the power of custom animation in explaining concepts. This is the first template. On a click we show the first idea derived from the core idea, then the second idea derived and then we have the third idea derived. The next template is this where we show the concept of trying three different options. Two of them fail and one of them succeeds. On a click we show the first attempt and this is how it is not so successful. Then we have the second attempt not successful whereas the third attempt is successful and it unlocks and this is the right solution. The last example template is this one where we show four problems removed. These four problems are represented by four nails. On a click we have the first nail removed and the explanation for that is shown. Then we have the second nail removed, the third nail removed and the fourth nail removed like this. So with a bit of creativity and imagination you can use custom animation in PowerPoint to tell some really powerful concepts. If you don't have the time to create these kind of elaborate animations but you still want these kind of conceptual animations available in your presentations to wow your audience then we have 4,500 such beautiful animated templates available in our comprehensive all-in-one PowerPoint bundle. I will leave a link to that product in the description box below the video. You can click on the link, check out this product and see how this product can change the way you create your PowerPoint presentations. Finally, before you go, I highly recommend that you watch this video next where I take on a challenge to replicate After Effects animation with PowerPoint animation. It's a very interesting video for around six minutes. It has got some humor in it. You will really realize the power of using PowerPoint custom animation in making an animated video. Go ahead, click on the link, watch this video and realize the power of PowerPoint custom animation. I'll see you there.